Well, Rebel, thank you for coming out in character. Yeah, I'm just bringing the cheer. Um, yeah, I love actually wearing this cheer uniform so much that I stole it from the movie. And I just, like, wear it around now. It's, like, really fun. I don't blame you. I don't, were you. Were you a cheerleader when you were younger? Oh, no. Um, we actually didn't have cheerleading when I was growing up in Australia. It wasn't a thing. It was a very American thing. So I watched, like, you remember that movie Bring It On? Yes. With Kirsten Dunst. Oh, my God, I love that movie so much. Um, and I got to work with Kirsten on one of my very first movies here in America. And I was like, oh, Kirsten, remember when you were in Bring It On and like, you did, like, spirit fingers? And just, like, all day I would just ask her stuff about Bring It On. And then one time then she had to take a Xanax. <laughs> True story. Uh, <laughs> but I love that movie. And, I was, and so for a senior year, I was like, well, I feel like my character in high school was a cheerleader so that I could add all the cheer elements into the film. Oh, you added she wasn't a cheerleader? No, she used to play field hockey in the original script. But I was like, no, 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 it's going to be going to be cheer. So and then if you weren't a cheerleader, which I didn't know they didn't have it in Australia, um, Portia said she was a cheerleader. That's not true. Oh. Um, <laughs> No, it's not. But, but, okay, so if they didn't have cheerleading, then you must have had to train as an adult to be a cheerleader. Yeah, so for the movie, we have, like, amazing cheer sequences. Um, but, Ellen, I'm, like, like, not very good. Like, I can't even really do the splits. Can you do the splits? No. Because Bring It On was my favourite, and then also, like, Never Been Kissed, the Drew Barrymore mm -hmm. film. And so this is kind of, like, a really nice mashup of Well, explain... Two. We're acting like everyone knows. But... OK, well, um, so basically my character Stephanie in the movie was a high school cheerleader, and she, in a cheerleading stunt gone wrong, hits her head and goes into a coma for 20 years. And then I wake up and it's me. Um, and I'm like, you know what? I never got to finish my senior year, so I'm going to go back to high school finish it and maybe win prom queen. You have to watch the movie to find out what happens. But it's, so it's really fun because I, I kind of do have that fantasy sometimes of going back to high school. Do you? <laughs> and what it'll be like, yeah. <laughs> Not anymore though because yeah. I'm like an actress in Hollywood and like yeah. <laughs> things have <laughs> gone pretty good. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, and so it's a, just a really fun premise. And it's great too because you wake up after a 20 year coma and, and life and, and I was talking about how my show has changed in 19 years and in 20 years you're, you know, like everything is different uh, with social media, with, with everything. Yeah, and we play on a lot of that because like now it's very woke and so my character, because she's in her mind, it's from 20 years ago and so like she, there's a lot of comedy to be played with with the wokeness of our current culture. Yeah, no, it's 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 you're stuck in that when when you uh, hit your head and then you come to, into to this year. Speaking of it, so 2020. Um, you, by the way, you look fantastic. You oh, look amazing. Thanks. Um, uh, <laughs> this, this is so great for my self-esteem. <laughs> but you do. I mean, in 2020, you decided. And, and tell, tell me exactly, because I don't know if you've talked about this. I, I hadn't read what made you decide I'm going to get healthy, and, and that included losing weight. What, what was the catalyst of that, and then what was your first steps? Well, OK, so I was turning 40 and then, like, looking into fertility stuff, and the doctor looked me up and down and said, oh, you know, you'd be better if you were healthier. And I kind of felt like, oh, I'm fine. You know, I love being a bigger girl and playing Fat Amy, like one of my characters from Pitch Perfect. It was really fun. And, um, and then I was like, oh, well, secretly, maybe I was being unhealthy at times. And, and so I decided in 2020, yeah, that's going to be my year of health. And I did it very publicly on Instagram and just, yeah, lost quite a lot of, like, 80 pounds, I think. You it lost was 80 pounds. 2020. Wow. Yeah. In a healthy way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowly, it's like a pound a week. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so uh, this is the first movie you're in since you've lost the weight. So it's yeah. a, how does that feel? Do you feel different? Oh, like, OK, I was a little bit nervous because some people are like, oh, well, if you lose weight, like, you're not going to be funny. Um, and then I was like, well, I actually, weirdly, <laughs> I think this movie is like the funniest movie I've ever done. So, yeah. I mean, you guys yeah. can see. Yeah. Uh, when I you see it. Yeah. Worldwide on Netflix. Like, um, yeah, you guys will see. Thank you. Well, thanks for uh, being here and thanks for wearing that outfit. And because uh, you always bring it every time you're here. We'll be back. Okay. We're back with Rebel Wilson. And uh, so you just became a permanent citizen of the United States. Yeah. America. Now, whew. that means you will then become a citizen. Do you want to become a citizen? Yeah, I think I have to do like a te hardcore test. Um, but I've seen the show Hamilton about six times, so I feel like... <laughs>
I know like everything about America now. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so I will do I will do that. Yeah. When are you gonna? Because Porsche took the test. It's it's kind of hard. Is it hard, yeah. Porsche? Is it hard? Yeah. 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 I mean, things. The the questions. I was watching her study, and and I didn't know the answers. And you know, so I think you'll learn more than people that were born here. Yeah. yeah well, I guess like um, growing up in in Australia, I just always. I uh, loved everything American, like all the stuff, like NFL, NBA, when you get large sizes of food in restaurants. <laughs> like, it's so American. Um, and I just always knew that I wanted to, like, live and work in America. So I'm, I'm grateful that they accepted me, finally. We're grateful, too. Yeah. So what is your favorite memory over the years? Because you've been here a lot, and a lot has happened when you're here. Yeah, this is my 10th anniversary of yep. appearing on the show. Yep. Probably my favorite was my second time ever here on the show, where me and you formed a rap group, and it was called Rebellion. <laughs> and, and we got to rap. Yeah. I think, yes, I think we have. I love that too. I think we have a tiny clip. It was mainly your group. I was kind of in it, but it was you. Watching cats on the internet. Kitty cat, kitty cat, show me that. Watching cats on the internet. Is that a bird? Is that a plane? That cat is insane. Oh. Watching cats. <laughs> that was, um, yeah. That was going to be our deb uh, debut single, yeah. Watching Cats on the Internet. Well, uh, it's I catchy. I mean, you're not going to get that out of your head. <laughs> Gonna go home trying to sleep tonight, watching cats on the internet. <laughs> like we yeah. we could go on tour at some point. For sure we could. Yeah. 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 All right, I hear you have something prepared for us. Well, I thought seeing as you my character in senior year is a cheerleader, um, I don't know whether you've ever had a cheer done for yourself. I uh, no, not well, from you. I'm, guys, I'm ready because <laughs> you know, we, we love you, Ellen, and, um, and, you know, because it's your farewell season, so I just devised this little cheer in my bedroom last night. So it's, it's never been performed. It's like a world exclusive. Oh, so. wow. Okay, all right. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ellen, it's time to go, go, go. You're still a winner without your show, show, show. We want to tell you. We really love you. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. And we don't want you to go, go, go. You bring us so much pleasure. Like a. I mean, no, rainbow. Rainbow. That was meant to be a rainbow. Okay. It's never, it's never been performed before. Okay. So. Come on, girl, and take your dough, and gonna live in Montecito. Woo! Ellen! Woo! That's, that's a bit rough. Oh, it's perfect. Senior years of L1 Netflix tomorrow. We'll be back.